like a red tide, but lasting months. The Gulf of Mexico's dead zone grows to about the size of New Jersey every summer. The water becomes so low in oxygen that crabs and bottom-feeding fish like red snapper and brown shrimp cannot live there. Researchers use oxygen meters to map the dead zone along the coast of Louisiana. The Mississippi drains about a third of the United States. It carries dissolved fertilizer from the Corn Belt into the Gulf. Tiny creatures called phytoplankton thrive on the nutrients, but when they die, the bacteria that eat them use up all the oxygen in the water, and that suffocates the lowest part of the food chain. And many of the fish that depend on feeding on the bottom need a variety of things. They need, they need crabs, they need gastropods, they need bivalves, they need shrimps. So while fish and shrimp can move out of the dead zone, there's no food for them to eat when they come back. Types of fisheries are different now than they were in the past. There's more forage fish like menhaden than the fish that live on the bottom. That's a very typical response of an ecosystem to too many nutrients. And the forage fish, while they may have a lot of tonnage, they're not as valuable a fishery as those that live on the bottom, particularly the brown shrimp. The dead zone crowds shrimp inshore, where they're easier to catch. So right now, shrimping has never been better. We know comparing the last 20 some years that I've been fishing, uh, the, the, they say that the, the, the dead zone has grown and shrimping has done nothing else but get better for us. As far as we know, it hasn't had an impact. And, and if it has, we can't handle much more shrimp than what we're catching now. But is there a tipping point beyond which too many nutrients will wipe out entire fisheries? People ask me every year, how big is it gonna be? That's a lot easier to answer than what is the long-term effect on the ecosystem. So we ask you, Lord, then to bless all these boats and all those who work upon them and their families. In the name of the Father. The blessing of the shrimp fleet is an annual event along the little Cayu Bayou. But many fewer boats are on parade these days. The number of Louisiana shrimp fishermen is less than half what it was just six years ago. The levels of nutrients flowing into the Gulf are still near their historic highs, and Congress has not funded a plan to reduce those levels by 30% and to start putting some life back into the dead zone. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.